Hi, welcome to another episode of The Young and the Restless. We open up at Jabo and Billy's in the office telling a reporter no comment over the line. While he is there texting Chelsea, then we see Carl comes in and says that he is doing the same thing. Carl also wanted to work on a distraction because he and Summer is having issues. And to top it off, his mom is in jail. Then we go over to the Abbott house and Jack has someone tracing Stark's money to find out if he has made any move. Then we see Ashley comes in and Ashley tells Jack to let Michael handle things. Ashley also tells Jack to let Diane take responsibilities for her actions for once. Why is he always jumping in to save her? Then we go over to Athletic Club in Daniel's room. We see Lily and Daniel in bed and Daniel wakes up from a nightmare. Then we see Victor and Tucker meet up at the Jazz jazz Club in the Athletic Club. And Victor says he signs his part of the contract. Now Tucker should sign his. Tucker asks her some time to think about it. Then we see Daniel and Lily discuss the dream. And she, he says, saw that Phyllis was outside the coffee house walking and he ran after her. And while he got to her, she just disappeared. Daniel says that his mind is in a state as it was back when Heather and Lucy left him. He feels alone and lonely. Back at Jabu, Billy and Kyle have a shot and they discuss working on everything to prove Diane's innocence. And he tells Kyle that he also needs to fix his marriage. Back at Jabo, uh, Jack tells Ashley to sympathize with Diane for once. Ashley tells Jack to listen to her and move on, which is what Diane told him to do. Ashley believes that Diane had every reason to kill Phyllis. And then we learn that Summer moved into a guest room while Billy and Kyle talk about it. Kyle tells Billy about Summer's change in behavior, how it's rapid. One minute she is happy and doing her job with um, their son Harrison. And the next minute she's locked up all alone in the room. Kyle believes that the only solution is to clear, stay his distance and clear his mother's name. Back at the Abbott house, Jack believes Diane is not capable of murder and Ashley thinks that she is in fact capable. And Jack claims that he is mourning Phyllis even though he's trying to exonerate Diane. And he blames Phyllis for her own murder. Can you believe it? Jack continues to defend how much he believes Diane has changed while Ashley calls out all of Diane's actions and past and her faking her li- her death and all those stuff. Ashley then calls Jack reckless and a fool and said that he's constantly being a disgrace and he is willing to drag everyone down with him with the Abbott name and he's also going to drag the bo- Jabo down when the press finds out about it. Then we see Daniel and Dilly discuss how to move forward after sleeping together. And he says that Lily eases his pain. But Lily says that no one can help him but himself. Back at Jabo, Kyle says that he has tried every approach approach with Summer. And he is wishing something would help. And Billy says that the longer he distanced himself, the harder it may be for them to get back to where they were. Then we see Audra runs into Tucker at the jazz lounge. And she says Tucker looks heartbroken. And Tucker says that he feels lonely. It's the worst he's felt in his life. Audra claims that she is sorry for him. And Ashley, the fact that him and Ashley didn't work out. And then they discuss his career in music, how he started in the industry when he was young. And he invites Audra to his room. Then we see Billy arrives at the coffee house and he runs into Lily and Daniel at society. And he tells Daniel about the media scrutiny that he's facing at Jabo after Leon wrote that article and tells Daniel to watch out for it. 
things then get a little awkward when Billy realizes that there's something there going on between Lily and Daniel. And Lily then goes to try to get a table for them. Then we go upstairs and we see Audra is in Tucker's room. And she sees the contract for the sale of McCall to Victor. And Tucker asks her to move with him to a new country and start over. He just wants to be get rid of Genoa City. Back at the coffee house, Chelsea and Billy have takeout. And he tells her that he ran into Lily and Daniel and believes that they are romantic. Back at the Abbott house, Jack Lee Ashley calls out Jack's hypo- hypocrisy and how he scrutinized her for a date with Tucker. Yet he's willing to defend a woman that is on trial for murder. A woman that faked her death and left her child behind. A woman that has threatened Phyllis and everyone. And Ashley asks if he thinks it will affect Jabo. These actions and these rumors, it will affect Jabo's stock. Then we see Carl comes in and he's pissed that they are arguing and he slams the door. Then Carl says that he doesn't want to talk, he just wants to go see Tomer, Summer. Then we see Jack tells her that if she can't hold back when Diane returns home because Diane is moving in and she needs to, Ashley needs to hold her raise, she should move out. Back at the athletic club, Audra says that Tucker is moving too fast and she only agreed to an invite to his suite, not to move away to another country. And she says that she is also loving her job at Newman and she likes GC. Tucker believes that Audra is pushing him away just like Devon and Ashley did. And then Audra tells him that he is too self-centered and whenever he doesn't get his way, he tells he. He does something rash. Tucker then tells Audra to leave and Audra leaves. Then we see Daniel and Lily discuss how running into Billy was awkward. Back at the coffee house, Billy says that he is relieved that Lily is moving on. And Chelsea and Billy claim that they are happy and that's what they wanted. And they decide to take things to another step and go upstairs to Chelsea's place. Then we go back to the athletic club and we see Tucker is there signing the contract for the sale of McCall. And then we see Carl knocks on Summer's door and Summer didn't open the door and he talks through the door to her. But Summer doesn't answer and he tells her that he is not going anywhere. He is just gonna hold on for her. Then we end with Ashley telling Jack that she is sick and tired of him constantly trying to kick her out of the house and ever since he got back with diane he has been a wreck jack then says that then living together is not gonna work ashley has to go ashley tells him that he should be the one to move out and be prepared for jabot board to remove him as well thanks for watching bye